So Zach Ertz played for the Eagles last night, but this morning he is an Arizona Cardinal. So Zach Ertz has been traded to the Cardinals for a fifth round pick in this upcoming draft, the 2022 draft, and cornerback Tay Gowan. So I don't think this is super surprising, but I'm kind of surprised they traded him, you know, the morning right after a game, and especially the morning right after a Thursday night football game. I know there were a lot of trade rumors about Zach Ertz after last season, in this offseason, and as the season started. And this trade makes a lot of sense for the Arizona Cardinals. I think we all expected them to trade for a tight end because Max Williams went down with a season ending injury and he was a really big part of that offense in Arizona. And you gotta feel good for uh, Zach Ertz. I mean, he's going from the Eagles to the undefeated Cardinals. I mean, that's that's gotta be pretty cool. Uh, I feel like he must be a little sad though because you know he won a Super Bowl in Philly. He's been there for his whole career. So he's probably a little sad, but listen, Going to the Cardinals, getting to, getting to catch passes from Kyler Murray, and going to an actual like competent offensive play caller uh, has to be has to feel good. I mean, yeah, Zach Ertz he's older than Max Williams, but he's a vet, and I think you know you need that veteran presence on this Arizona team. They're undefeated right now, but they are very young, and I, I really really like this move for the Cardinals. It's weird though. Well, it's not weird. It's interesting because Max Williams and Zach Ertz their stats are very very similar. So far this season, I mean, Max Williams, his season's over now, but this season he had 16 receptions for 193 yards and one touchdown. Zach Ertz this season, he had 18 receptions so far, 189 yards and two touchdowns. So their numbers are very similar, and I feel like Zach Ertz is going to be a huge, huge part of this offense uh, for the Cardinals. This Cardinals offense is just so much fun to watch, and I feel like we're really going to see Zach Ertz's production uh, go up uh, now that he's on the Cardinals. As I was saying last night as I was watching the Eagles game, the Eagles offensive play calling is absolutely horrendous. Like, I don't understand their play calling on offense at all. It's it's absolutely horrible. They literally put their players in the worst position possible. So I think I think we're really going to see a lot more from Zach Ertz as we see him, you know, play for the Cardinals now. I mean, that offense, Kyler Murray, Zach Ertz, DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Chase Edmonds, James Conner. Oh my gosh, like it, it's literally, it's literally going to be such a sick offense to watch. I mean, there's more guys that I didn't even name, Rondell Moore, but like that offense is just, is just so cool. He's not going to play this week, obviously, because he played on Thursday Night Football, but this is, this is a move that makes a lot of sense for the Cardinals. The Eagles are not looking too good right now, so it makes sense that they are trading Zach Ertz. You know, he's 30 years old now. This team is kind of in rebuild mode. They traded Carson Wentz this past offseason, so it makes sense that he was traded. But um, I'm really excited to see how he plays on the Cardinals. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this trade. And subscribe, guys. Peace.